Hey everybody, this is uh, Chris with Steven Sling and Dirt. Just down here in the garage working on the late model after uh, that Sunday night in Lex when we tore up the front end up a little bit. We, re we fixed the, uh, the front, um, front fender, the nose. We did find out we had some hairline cracks in the header. I'm hoping to go pick up another set of headers tomorrow so we can button that all up and get the front end all finished up. So, looking forward to uh, this weekend at Dodge City, Kansas. It'll be a Friday, Saturday. Race is up there in Dodge City with the High Plains Late Models. We also fixed the uh, left rear fender, the right rear fender, all the bracing. We just gotta change out the gears, top off all the fluids, check all the nuts and bolts. And we still gotta check out the uh, caster camera on this side from getting up on the wall in North Platte Saturday. So, but yep, we're definitely looking forward to uh, two days showing Dodge City, Kansas. sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned and we'll keep sending videos everybody's way and uh, hope to be slinging dirt this weekend we've got a few things to do on the enclosed trailer we got to fix the uh, back latches and then the vent on top of the roof we lost it plus we still got to get this uh, rear cell panel bolted back up so yeah this video is gonna be kind of short I didn't really video tearing the car apart, going through all the stuff. So I do apologize on that, but pretty much as everybody's probably seen videos of people tearing their cars apart and putting them back together. So I didn't think there was anything different than what everybody else does. <laughs> so. Alrighty, well, talk to you guys later. All right, I'm back. I guess a recap for Saturday and Sunday from North Platte and Lex. Holyoke got rained out. North Platte was a pretty rough track. So, I mean, we finished, I think we finished ninth that night. And uh, then we went to Lexington the next day. Uh, finished 10th. I guess all in all, it was... A decent two nights would have been nice to uh, at least get closer up to the top five on both nights um, I looked at the points so far for the high plains and we're sitting ninth in points right now so I guess that's pretty decent I mean at least it's a top 10 at least we got a top 10 both nights so I guess we can't complain too much We're still running Tucker's motor in here. The other motor, we just haven't had a chance to uh, send it in to get it freshened up and gone through. Like I said, when I started it up, not actually I didn't start it up, we actually turned it over and we were trying to prime it up and not all the uh, rocker arms and the push rods were um, pumping oil. So I didn't want to take a chance and mess something up on that engine. So we went to the, uh, the backup motor, which this year it actually did a heck of a lot better than what it did at the uh, two-day show in Overly, Kansas last year. We were fighting a fuel pump issue. Um, we did replace the uh, reverse mount power steering fuel pump. So I don't know if that was a problem or maybe it was a fuel regulator, but it just seemed like we were losing pressure on fuel Going down the front straightaway, we had all, all the power we needed. But going down the back straightaway, it just wanted to fall flat on space. But it definitely did a complete turnaround Saturday and Sunday. Just got to get a little more eager on the track. Um, get better um, starts when the green flag drops. So, we just got to get 
just as greedy as everybody else. <laughs> For sure. Because we already know what the back of the field looks like. And the mid pack of the field looks like. Now we just got to figure out how to get up there to that front pack and get some good runs. So our time trials were off quite a bit. Um, I think North Platte, they were hitting 18, 18, 5, 19. We were hitting about 20, 21. Lexington, same thing. They were hitting about between 18, 5 and 19. And we were still hitting about 20 to 21 on our time trials. Hi right, everybody, this is us, Chris with uh, Steven Sling and Dirt. We got the lot model, lot model, late model locked and loaded. Uh, just leaving home. We got about a four and a half hour drive to Dodge City, Kansas. Got to stop by and pick up my son Tucker. He's going to be helping me this weekend. We got a two day show in Dodge City, Kansas with the High Plains late models. I got my buddy Wayne and his nephew. Kevin, they're on their bikes heading that way. So, uh, definitely looking forward to this two day weekend. So, we'll just take you guys along the way and uh, we'll talk to you guys here after a bit. So, looks like it's going to be a good, nice, hot day. Hopefully, the track's a pretty good track. I've never been there before. So it'll be our first time in Dodge City. So we've only raced one other place in Kansas, and that was last year at Oberlin. So we'll see what the old late models got in store for us tonight. So alrighty, stay tuned. Alright everybody, we uh finally made it here to Dodge City, Kansas. Uh it is uh 5 30. Uh, just stopped here to get something to munch on. We'll head over to the uh, track here in just a minute. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you at the track. Good. All righty, here we got Chris at Steven Sling and Dirt. We're over here day number two with the High Plains Late Models at Dodge City, Kansas. I got my son here, Tucker Stevens, Wayne Briggs right there and then we got old Kevin Cook over here tonight Kevin Cook's over here he, he's our mascot he's our guy that kind of gives us a, a thumbs up if we're doing good and a thumbs down if we're doing bad <laughs> anyways night number two yeah that's about it too. with Steven slinging dirt <laughs> so make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we'll send some more videos your way last night we finished uh, fifth in our heat which uh, we were one spot out of making the A so we had to run the B we got second in our B and then we finished 19th out of 24 cars in the A main on the first night um, that's pretty much about it so stay tuned and we'll, we'll talk to you later